How's it with light workers? Do we always have to be in the public eye and always be in the service to others? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Solo and I help light workers to remember who they truly are. And in this video, I want to answer the question that I guess all of us have had at some point. Do we always have to help other people? Isn't it enough just to heal ourselves? Well, the answer is yes, no, but mostly yes. So let me explain. Uh, at some point in your soul's journey, it happens that you are meant to step into some form of leadership. You are meant to step into uh, being in service to others. And it's possible that this is the lifetime for you to do it because it is for many of us the lifetime to do it. This is the lifetime we've been waiting for. And so as you are first awakening, then you are healing yourself. Then you are working on your ascension. And then after you are stepping into your self-mastery. And then perhaps some, some of us will choose to walk the path of uh, being an ascended master which is, by the way, it is possible for light workers. It is incredibly difficult path to walk, but it is possible more than in some other times. So as you'll be moving through those stages, and of course they can happen, you know, simultaneously because there is no linear time. It's just to uh, break it down for the mind to better imagine it. You'll see, you'll notice something is truly really guiding you to start working with other people on some level. It doesn't always have to be, you know, doing it publicly. There are so many amazing masters. I do believe in, you know, Tibet, India, like all over the planet, they are not online. It's not for everyone, perhaps. But the thing here is that you align with what's your purpose. I do understand that it feels scary, it feels overwhelming, uh, the idea that you might have to do something um, so visible, so public, that involves other people. This is, this is the way of living when you are constantly out of your comfort zone. <laughs> you start basically camping <laughs> out of your comfort zone every single day. But um, also there is a seed, like a perfect blueprint and design for you, for your soul, and you'll just follow it. So all those things, they don't happen overnight, and that's a very good thing, because along that way, there are millions of tiny baby steps we have to take, and we have to all learn to be able to step into our power and to hold it in humble yet powerful way, so that the power inside of us that flows through us can be in service to other people. And the same thing we have to do with our sovereignty, with our divinity, with uh, divine love and wisdom. They are all serving for higher purpose of other people. And so, yes, it will happen that after you do certain amount of healing, it doesn't have to be 100%. After you do certain amount of healing, you'll feel inside of you that something is calling you to start working with other people or perhaps with animals or children. Or you might feel uh, being called to work with the grid of Earth and really support Gaia in her transformation as well. Perhaps you'll feel a call to be working with... Um, crystals in the earth and really charging them up with higher frequencies because this is what we all light workers can do and we are doing it sometimes unconsciously and so this service to others has many forms but i'll tell you i really do believe that at certain point again in our soul's journey it depends we'll all have to step somehow into our spiritual leadership at some point. But you don't have to feel overwhelmed by the idea because by the time you, you'll be stepping into it, 
you have all the resources because you had done your homework, you showed up at every single level and you mastered your lessons, you understood them, you integrated those different aspects of you back into alignment with source energy. And so when the moment comes, it will not feel as you know overpowering as it might feel in the beginning. So it's more like don't let the whole idea overwhelm you. Don't think about the final destination as if there would be any final destination. But you know, like how sometimes the mind likes to make things concrete and specific. But take this time factor out of equation and really think about it like what's my next step what's my next step where is it guiding me what's truthful to me in this moment what do i need to integrate what do i need to heal i want to tell you also that we live in such unique times where we are walking side by side with light workers with master healers with many amazing souls and we can really reach out to other people. There's so much support for us. But we also have to learn to be able to receive for ourselves. Because so many light workers, as you know, they feel that kind of almost like burden. I always have to be here for other people. I always have to be the highest light. Yes, in a way, yes, but you also have to learn to receive. You also have to be willing to accept help when it's knocking at your door or when your soul is guiding you there. So take advantage of the fact that there are so many of us doing this thing together. We all do it together. And you know what it means? It means that we are making it easier for all of us and for those walking behind us. Because... Uh, when we are doing this whole thing together, we are really creating very positive energy momentum. That it's there is this positive spillover effect on other people as well, and you really have the opportunity to talk to so many amazing souls from all across the galaxy who came here to participate in this ascension, and you can talk to them, you can, you know, tap into their energy and you can let it, uh, you know, collapse time for you by working with them. Because this is the true purpose of offering healing sessions. It's to collapse time for you. It's not like you need it. We all have the answers inside. The question is, will you try to labor it on your own? Will it take, you know, many more lifetimes? Or are you willing to receive the help? Because when you work with someone, you really tap into their energy and it's the energy. It's not like what they teach you per se. It's more their energy that creates quantum leaps for you. And that's why you can realize your divinity and your sovereignty and really step into it the moment you open yourself up. So if you feel guided to certain healing modality, just trust your voice, trust yourself, trust your soul. You know, there is no reason to waste time, really. You know, I mean, there is no purpose in it anymore. The time we've been waiting for is now. So yes, at some point, it will really guide you to be in service to others in some form. But that form will not feel overwhelming to you anymore. Because... You've been practicing for it literally for lifetimes. You got this. I want you to remember it. You really got this. Don't let your ego, you know, project so many fears onto your mind. It's not serving you. Because, you know, as a light worker, I know I, I cannot find a fulfillment in denying who I am or denying the voice of my multidimensional self. For instance, you know, I cannot find happiness in there. It's impossible. But I do find tons of fulfillment at the deepest soul levels when I am collaborating, co-creating with the universe. And the same applies to you. So it will guide you. You can also think about it. You know, the whole universe is about community. 
the whole universe it's about supporting each other why do you think there are so many star beings ascended masters archangels helping us why do you think they have nothing better to do <laughs> you know this is how it works this is how creation works we are supporting each other we are helping each other so at some point it will be only nature for you to explore yourself and your potential by including also other people into it. So there won't be anymore your like private life and your work life. They'll become one and they'll be enhancing and flourishing together. It won't feel overwhelming. If you do, you know, soul healing and so on, you really step into it, you are ready for it. It won't feel overwhelming. It will feel joyful. You'll see blessings everywhere and the universe will support you so much more. And also, as we will ascend to higher dimensions, we'll come back. We'll come back and help our people. And this is how some, you know, some light workers has gotten here in the first place. Some light workers, they had already ascended, and yet they are back here helping doing this work because it is about community service in some way, on some level, always. It's not just to keep it to ourselves. We are building that new age. We are all of us now in this moment are participating in this game. We all are piece of a puzzle. So let's get out of the way and really, you know, align with that seed of potential within you. Let it guide you. Learn to trust yourself. And remember, you got this, dear Lightworker. <laughs>